Hello. In this video, we are going to write a solution to this coding bat problem called cat dog. Um, we're going to be writing in Python, but this approach I'm taking works in a variety of languages. So what this problem wants you to do is to take a given string and check to see if the word cat appears the same number of times as the word dog. And if it does, return true and otherwise return false. So how this is often done um, is you might write a loop that loops through the string and counts the number of times you see cat, count the number of times you see dog, and compare that. And if the number of times you see cat is equivalent to the number of times you see dog, then you know they show up the same number of times. But we can use this great method called collapse it, called replace, and a technique that I call collapsing strings um, to really simplify this problem. And so what we do essentially is we create a new string that has all the cat strings removed. And we do this using the replace method. So if I say CSTR equals, and we're going to use STR as the implied object, and we're going to say replace, and we're going to replace all the cat strings with an empty string. And this is the really useful technique. When we do this, this actually collapses the string and gets rid of the word cat with nothing. And then if we do the same thing, so we say DSTR is equal to str.replace, and we say dog with empty string. What we've done is we've created two new strings. This string CSTR has all the cat strings removed. This string DSTR has all the dog strings removed. And so all we have to do now is to say if CSTR, or sorry, if the length of CSTR is equivalent to the length of DSTR, we're going to return true. And otherwise we'll return false. Remembering that as soon as we hit the return statement, we're done. So that's why I don't have this return false inside it and else, because if we go inside this if statement, the method will terminate. And we hit go, and there we go. So this is a really useful technique, this idea of using the replace method um, to collapse a string by replacing some given string with an empty string. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask.